Clark University moving forward with the plan to bring kids back to campus, even though a neighboring school is switching gears. This week, Holy Cross announced that it was switching to remote learning for the fall. Assumption announced it would start the semester by remote. But on Saturday, students will start moving in at Clark. And as WBZ's Paula Eben tells us this evening, some of them aren't happy about it. I think they're doing the best that they can, but the information that students are getting and the plans that they have in place, in my opinion, just aren't sufficient. I think it's irresponsible. Caitlin Angeletti and Charles Tall are two of hundreds of students who've signed on to this petition to the administration at Clark University. It asks Clark to rescind the decision to hold classes on campus this fall. Tall wrote the petition. And you're welcoming thousands of students into this just like tiny community that is just like, I just think it's incredibly irresponsible to everyone around us. Clark University plans to test all students when they arrive in the area over the next week. After that, students will be tested every three days. Faculty and staff who interact with students will be tested weekly. All other staff will be tested twice a month. But it's not enough for Angeletti. She's going to start her junior year by remote because she has asthma. And she says it's been a struggle to put together a schedule. And it's really difficult trying to find classes that are fully remote or professors who are willing to accommodate their course to be fully remote. Tall is going back, but he doesn't feel great about it. He'll be living off campus with three other students. One of them works at a grocery store, so it's not really safe. Like, I don't feel comfortable having to go to in-person classes when one of my own roommates is like an essential worker and he's right there. In a statement to WBZ, Clark University says it respects and values the perspectives of those within our community who may disagree with our decision to reopen for the fall semester. We have worked diligently and thoroughly this summer to prepare for the return of our students, faculty and staff in a way that protects their health and safety while preserving the campus experience during an extraordinary time. Mm -hmm. Now, the petitions collected more than 600 signatures, but Tall says the school has told him it won't reconsider its plan no matter how many students sign on. There's also a change.org petition in support of the reopening plan, and that one has about 200 signatures. David and Lisa? It's amazing.